Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Final Fantasy X2. I'm Dr. Harry Chalcom, and we're gonna continue on. We just got done with the uh, Moonflow mission in Chapter 1. And, just gonna have this sped up just a little bit. Just gonna edit stuff around just a tad. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna take care of something. Alright, just, just a little bit of messing with uh, volume and stuff. Anyway, um, so now we're going to go to, uh, I think... See Guadalupe Salam, and then maybe the Thunder Plains, and then go check out Magalani Woods. Now, why is this not recording? Anyway, all right, so we're gonna head to Guadalupe Salam first. I just gotta say it like that um, because. I am way far ahead of this in actual recording of the, uh, home of the Guado. The you game remember, footage. Right? So. But the Guado yeah. are no longer here. This is a long Some time ago that I did this. They so. all that happened for what they did to Spira. They have a point, but it seems like such a sad way to look at things. Guados always did strike me as kind of a sad race. They just kind of seem very down on themselves. Well, their maester didn't really help in the first game. But anyway, I was doing chapter 4 today. My god, is chapter 4 so freaking annoying. Ugh. I'll go over it from that. I also didn't help that I accidentally wrote over some of my footage. Not that the footage was very entertaining. Because it was just calm spheres and I'll just go over what you need to do with that. <sighs> but trying to... They really need to give you that that point something percentage, like seventy five point six percent. They need the point six the there. Plane, a place that unites the living. The anyway, we need to go check out the far plane as well. I've thought about going in so many times, hoping that I might see you there, but I never have. I think I probably never will. Actually, from this, if you try to go into the far plane, Yuna and the guard says no, you can't go in there. So that's okay. We'll we'll have our fill of the far plane much much later. Anyway, um, next thing on our agenda is the thunder plains, which you could just go through the exit. I didn't remember that, so we're gonna go back to the airship and then head there. That's beside the point. Thunder Plains is right next to Guadalajara, which is right in front of Makalania Woods. So I don't know why Guadalajara and Thunder Plains are above both of those. Oh well, doesn't. I don't need any, like, knee to it. <laughs> and the. One thing I don't like is that they changed right. Thunder Plains music. Finally overcame her fear of thunder. <laughs> she said she camped out here for a week. <laughs> uh, and that's why Riku's one of my favorites in here. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out of this timeline. And that's all we need to do. We just have a little uh tidbit of information. Why is this all freaking out now on how it's doing frames? Come on, Sony Vegas, just, just... Thank you, thank you. Now you're working fine. Now you're working fine. Oy vey. Oy vey. Anyway, it's been to Makalania Woods. It's been since the faith in Makalania Temple disappeared. Although we never got a, a they say it's Aeon from Makalania Woods. As well. Unless I forget. One isn't coming to mind, at least. No, 
Ooh, the crystal path is open. That should be... You would have gotten that through the other one, but... The woods will soon be... We have Thayrai. They're, uh... If you haven't played the the first game, Beirai and his two other troop members of musicians are, uh... kind of want to say pieces of the faith. Um... They... They depend on the faith. So, now that it's gone, they're kind of out of a loss. There's a couple guado up here, but more than anything, we need to head to the, uh, lake. Which, easiest way to get there and shortest way to get there is to use the, uh, crystalline path. Which, I don't know if that's its actual name. Don't correct me if it's not. That's just what I'm gonna call it. Anyway, up here is a treasure chest for a turbo other. Which we will almost never get again, because I use it fairly early in the game. I do remember that part. <laughs> anyway, we're almost to our destination. Almost there. Now, from the first game, the Makalania Woods and the Faith, was you would... We fought the, uh... The Aquamorph. The, uh... I think it's the Aquamorph. I'll go Google it. Aquamorph. Anyway, here's Trouble. Trumble. Trumble. It's not coming up, so it's probably not called an Aquamorph. But anyway, there's a couple more Guado, and then up here is Trouble. Trumble. So let's see. According oh, to my guide of 100%, me for the if you talk to Trummel, you, you also you have to... Well, with Lord Seymour gone, we Guado are hardly different from the... Uh, day. counter Bayrai, which you already did. Speak to Donga. And speak, a, speak to, uh, Ku... Many Ku Taku. She's my favorite of the musicians, but we'll find them later. Those who survived swore vengeance for their fallen comrades. We Guado sealed ourselves away in Guado Salam and strengthened our defenses. But soon we no longer had the strength for even this. Now we live among the shadows of these woods. Trammel? Yeah. Well, you gotta speak to Trummel four times. Do not trouble yourself to show sympathy for the Guado. Don't interrupt him, too. Willingly with Lord Seymour, never questioning. Although it's not quite as long as uh, my chin, so you should be able to get through this, no problem. I ask that you forgive us, only that you forget us. Trummel. Oh, but the Guado are cool. They're kind of like elves. So why would you f we forget oh, you? Well, what brings the High Summoner to these woods? Obviously talking to you. That's what we've been doing for the past... Let's uh, see, mm. two what minutes or so. We uh, hunt spheres. That's what with the you name would imply, say. Riku. Well then, uh, <laughs> please allow me to give you this. Uh, it is of no use to us. Cooler. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, we get uh, a special trust sphere, which normally if you wouldn't get this, which is, this is a, basically a side mission, the other two for Yuna and Riku are not necessarily uh, side missions. Um, but special trust spheres are basically what replaced the, uh, the summons in the previous game. They're very powerful and useful for use. It, yeah. But you will show off them in just a little bit. I didn't notice that I actually had it that much. Alright, because I was going to then show, yeah, yeah. Anyway, 
This is Pains. I... you won't be seeing these much that often. They are cool, but... I won't be using them that often, so... It's kind of a... personal challenge to me, because I used to... I used to do this where I would use them all the time when I started playing the game, and then you get really, really... It's really hard to uh, do it. Anyway, anyway, uh, what? it's hard to keep up with the bosses and such. Um, but we'll show it off here. And it, also, you're going to want to head back the other path. We get can pick up uh, talking to the Kuku Kuku Taku Kuku Taku. Kuku -taku. Ah. Anyway, to use a special dress sphere, you have to go all the way through your garment grid. And that's why you get the unearing path as well. Um, which normally, uh, would be how you would get to, it would normally be how, if you really wanted to use these a lot and had to use it fast, that's what you would use. Watch out. Items aren't the only thing I can steal. Anyway, but to get to it, you have to do all the things in the garment grid, and then you have to go once more to the garment grid. And since Yuna's a gun, uh, uh the, the, the gun mage, we can, uh, might as well look at these things with the new scan that we got. Also, I'm gonna eventually change these transitions into short. Actually, I think I do it fairly soon after this. Because they are cool, but after a while, you don't really want to see all of them all the time. Anyway, one more click of the R1. After seeing the scan. Gold elemental. This is really overkill to use a special dress sphere on these enemies, but whatever. One more click. And we can get access to special one. Ooh, increased health. Now, uh, Pain's main thing is basically like blades and other things. Blades and other sharp implements. Uh, throttle is basic what uh, Pain would use. And the other two are basically support classes. Um, but each of the special dress spheres have their own, uh, have their own other two members. So it effectively brings your total number of members up to nine. I guess you could look at it that way. Plus all special dress spheres have ribbon as well, which gives you every immunity except for, I think, death proof. I'm pretty sure you don't get death proof. Um, but it's really, they're, they're really kind of overpowered. Could be hitting it with lightning, but that's just And... Oh! Something I learned! Positioning in this game. How you get lucked into position does actually count for, uh, how things work in this game. Or, er, for damage. That's just something to kind of keep in mind. But besides that, not much, um, else to say. Lightning! Use lightning! LIGHTNING! Continue to attack them. I didn't think it was this. And I said this was going to be overkill. Well, not using lightning on it. Is it just going to spontaneously? No, nope, it's not going to spontaneously die. There we go. Well, anyway. We'll continue more on this and find Donga and Paku Paku Taku. Paku Taku. Next time on the next episode of uh, Final Fantasy X2. Thank you all for watching.